Hi all, it's Meryl again. As you know, I had a friend that has a convenience store and he was the one who first purchased a bag of ice vending machine for his store. He told me that he had increased his profits to almost double and he can't believe all the other benefits that he gained by putting in an ice vending machine instead of having ice delivered. So in this video, I thought I would talk to you about how his machine has made his life easier and what profits he's gained from his machine. Besides profits almost doubling, which means he makes more profits even while he's paying off his machine, he told me the untold perks he gained were enormous. Not only did he free up a bunch of valuable freezer space and was able to get rid of those ugly merchandisers in front of the store, he doesn't have those big delivery trucks coming in, wasting valuable space when customers are trying to park, wasting his employees time by having help the delivery guy stack the bags and then having to clean up and sort bags it was costing him employee time and until he installed his machine he didn't even realize how bad it was he also didn't have losses from theft torn bags and melted ucky ice if you're like me you hate the ucky ice you know the ice that gets melted and freezes back together or that's been sitting there for however long. I didn't realize that it shrinks, but I do hate that funk it gets when it's been sitting there too long. Anyway, I wanted to go through his pro forma and talk about his profits. What Huey had going for him that most people don't is that he had sales data and knew exactly how much ice he sells. So for him, it was easy to figure out what size machine he needed, how long it would take him to pay it off, and how much in profits he'd make. Once he saw his bottom line, it was a no-brainer for him. So here's his sales data for the year. Brad from Bag of Ice grafted in my friend's pro forma so that he could see what the bottom line was. My friend sells over 11,000 bags in a year, and from my understanding, his sales are up almost 20% since he installed the machine. So these numbers are actually very conservative. He bought a bigger machine than I did, um, I estimated selling 20 bags a day on average, where he knows that he sells 33 bags per day, more or less. He sells his ice for $2.59 a bag, not including tax, so we don't have to add a sales tax rate here. His machine is also covered under his insurance policy, so he doesn't have to pay like I do at my standalone locations. Um, he said his utilities are actually a little lower, but otherwise the same, so we won't add them here. He also doesn't pay rent. And he has the same guy who services his soda ice machine, ice maker, service the ice vending machine, so there's not an extra trip charge, and he ends up paying a little less than I do. For delivered ice, he used to pay $1.25 per bag and had between 15 and 20 percent in losses. That means at best he is making $1.34 per bag. So I'm going to do this pro forma by only looking at the extra profits that he's making. So I'm going to say that's $1.50. Let's see how the numbers add up. At the end of the year he's making an extra $13,000 in revenue. And that's including his loan payments. That's before the machine is paid off. Once the machine is paid off, he's making an extra $22,000 per year. If that's not a no-brainer, I don't know what is. And that's why I got into the business. If I can get a positive cash flow anywhere near this for myself, I'm going to do it. I've got two machines and have plans to buy a third. And if I can get up to 10 machines out there with a cash flow of even $500 per month per machine, that's $5,000 per month that I'm making. At that rate, I can hire somebody to help take care of my machines for me on a part-time basis. Now, ice spending does take work, and it takes time, and it takes patience. It's a business. Buying an ice spending machine is like buying a car, only that this car pays you back. But you have to maintain it just like a car. You treat it well and it will treat you well. My friend did have a few issues at the beginning, but it was kind of his fault. He didn't pay to have a surge protector installed on the machine. And you can bet that I bought them on mine. Um, his electricity was cycling and doing funny things to the machine. It was kind of like putting bad gas in a car 
It's not the manufacturer's fault, and it took a while for my friend to realize that. But now he's so happy, and I'm happy for him. I hope you found this video informative and that you look for my upcoming videos. If you have questions, please post them below. Happy profit hunting!